How are you guys doing? This is Ryan. Welcome back to the channel. What if I told you there's a mathematical equation that tells you how much to put into an investment to optimize the growth and performance of your portfolio? What if I told you that this mathematical equation is actually used by people like Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger and was proven by Ed Thorpe who destroyed the market in a 13 year run and wrote books about on how he was able to dominate the stock market by using what's called the Kelly formula or Kelly criterion. And this formula actually comes from the gambling world. That's where Ed Dorp brought it over from, but he brought it to the stock market and other people have followed. It's made a massive amount of returns. That's the topic for this week's video. Let's jump into it. Actually turns out that us humans are really bad on deciding how much to invest into something and I'll get into that more later I'll give some examples of some case studies at the end of the video so make sure you stay tuned for that but let's jump into what is the Kelly formula and how can you use it when picking stocks please note before I jump into this this is not really financial advice this is something that is well documented in several investing books Please do your own research and due diligence before applying it to your portfolio. But this is something I'm starting to use more and more in my portfolio, and I'm really excited to share with you guys in today's video. So the Kelly formula was developed by a man named John Kelly, who never actually really even got to use it. He passed away kind of young, but he broke down the formula this way. We take our probability of winning, and I'm gonna give an example of this, and we minus that by one minus the probability of winning, and divide that as winning as a percentage. So what does that mean? And how can I use that with a stock? So this really comes down to being able to evaluate a stock and people may come to different conclusions when they evaluate stocks too. And we'll talk about what to do to protect you from yourself, which this whole formula protects you from yourself. Humans were very emotional creatures. So this removes the emotion in investing and puts it into mathematics. So we're gonna plug the stock Microsoft into the Kelly formula. And there's two things we really need to understand at this point. We need to understand what is the probability of Microsoft winning. And when I say winning, what is their winning as a percentage likely to be? So these two numbers are important. So I went back and I looked at Microsoft over the last 22 years. It's averaged a compounding rate of return of 15%. So we'll plug that number in first here. So I'll put Microsoft's ticker symbol here. So we'll put this here. We'll put our division line. Now I'm going to put 0.15, okay? Now I have to project the stock price into the future now. And I look at Microsoft and I think they're very likely to continue this rate of return for investors. And I would even say as high as 90% for me in this example. You might say 80%, you might say 70%. And this is why people will have different size portfolio allocation of Microsoft because I feel like it's 90% gonna go up 15% a year. Some people may say 70% or 60%. This is where you have to do good research to understand what you think that rate of probability is and have that level of conviction in a stock. So, I'm saying 90%. Our probability of winning is 0.90, okay? We're gonna minus that by one minus 0.90. This is our equation. And this will tell us what percentage of our capital we should invest into Microsoft. And guys, this is crazy for me. I haven't done algebra in like several years and I'm getting back into the swing of it now using it for my investing philosophy. But anyways, let's jump into it. So one minus 0.9 is 0.1, okay? And now we have to divide 0.1 by 0.15. I'm gonna use my calculator for this. <laughs> and we get 0.67, okay? Now we're gonna minus this by 0.9. And this equals, I'm gonna use my calculator one more time. 0.9 minus 0.67. This equals 23% of my available capital should go into Microsoft. Now I do want to preface that investors have actually used something called fractional Kelly. I'm going to use examples of things like coin flips to show you how Kelly works perfectly for that. But because there's more subjectivity and error for being wrong in the stock market, they recommend a fractional Kelly. So some people do half Kelly and some people do a third Kelly. So I would feel comfortable doing half Kelly and I would feel comfortable doing half of 
into Microsoft. And that is roughly 11.5% of my available capital. Now you can use this and go through several different amount of investments and decide how much of my capital should go in each one when you look at things like probability of winning and rate of return. And what this does, it really optimizes your growth curve. What we actually learn is that most people lose money because they actually bet too much of their capital. And I'll give an example of that right now. Let me clean off the chalkboard. So that example I gave right there is a way you can adopt it into the stock market. And again, you have to understand the probability of winning and winning as a percent. And you have to come up with a good formula on how to understand this. And I think the longer you are in the market, the better you'll be able to judge those things, your probability of winning and your rate of return. And this way you can really allocate your portfolio appropriately. But let me show you how this works with things like coin flips. So there was actually a study done of a couple hundred people that were all college educated. And what they did is they got this group together and they said, we have a simulated coin flip here that lands 60% of the time on heads and 40% of the time on tails. And they were all given $25 and they were all given the opportunity to make $250 max. And with 60% odds, we saw the strangest things happened. Everyone should have won $250 if they had used the Kelly criterion or the Kelly formula. But what actually happened was 33% of the people went bust when 60% of the time, the coin was gonna land on heads. And every time they won, they would have made whatever they invested in. So if they put in a dollar, they would have won $2. If they put in $5, they would have put in $5. Some of these people even picked tails, which is crazy. <laughs> but anyways, roughly 25% of the people did win $250, but the majority actually underperformed and only won an average of $75. But again, if they all used the Kelly formula, they all would have won $250. So let me show you how in the Kelly formula. So 60% of coin flip on heads, that's what we'll call it. So your probability of winning was 60%. We're gonna minus that by one minus probability of winning, 0.60. And then we're gonna divide that by winning as a percentage. So for every dollar wagered, you would have won a dollar. So it's gonna be one. Let's do the math. One minus 0.6 is 0.4 and then 0.4 divided by 1 is 0.4 so if we come over here 0.6 minus 0.4 equals 20 percent so what this means is if you just wager 20% of your available balance of that $25 what you started with and bet that wager, that would have given you optimal growth. So for example, I start with $25, but Kelly tells me only to invest 20% of that onto heads. Of course, don't bet on tails. <laughs> Kelly formula only works for winning probabilities. So 20% of $25 is actually $5. Now if I win, I now have $30. So this time I bet 20% of $30. I bet $6. And on and on we go. If I lose money, I bet less. I bet 20% of that available capital. So this can also be used for sports gambling, betting, horse racing. It's been used for all of those things and it's made investors a lot of money and in the stock market. And I just think it's so helpful to think about portfolio allocation because it really matches up your investor confidence, probability of winning, with your expected rate of return. And don't get me wrong, you still have to be a reasonable, disciplined investor for this to work, but it's a great guide to go with if you are. And guys, if you found this information to be helpful and useful, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also tap that notification bell because I upload videos on YouTube every Sunday with different finance related topics. And to me, this one was really cool and I've been wanting to talk about it for a while. And I've been really wanting to adopt it more into my investing philosophy. And actually doing this video, I was able to really wrap my head around the whole concept and get my calculator out and get comfortable with doing mathematics. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. Have you ever used the Kelly formula? Are you looking for a way to guide on how much money to put into a particular investment or a gamble or a bet or anything like that? And is there anything that you disagree with in regards to the Kelly formula? I'm really interested to hear that as well. I really appreciate you guys watching the whole way through. Let me know down in the comments if you made it to the end. And as always guys, I'll see you in my next one.